Last week, I had for you 10 ways to get home on a Hard Truth Monday, and y'all went nuts in the comment section. I've gone through all of them, and today I'm presenting to you 15 ways to get home brought to you by all of y'all. Yeah, what could go wrong? Hey guys, it's always a big gotcha and a Jew to all of y'all. How to get home. I, last few weeks, we've been talking a little bit about this, about just a few easy things we can do to be able to get home safely and to be prepared in an emergency. Nothing crazy. And I missed a lot, of course. I just did a top 10 list, and a ton of y'all went nuts in the comment section. So I've gone through them all, and I've got 15 more ways to get home safely. And these are fantastic. I think you're going to enjoy these. No particular order here, but I think you may enjoy it. And as always, keep going nuts down in the comment section. Buckle up, here we go. Today's Bunch of Fun is brought to you by my friends over at Bullet Safe and their Level 3A vest. It's the VP3, concealable, lightweight, full range of motion, and breathable. All this for an unheard of price for $2.99 and some change. American made protection up to 44 Magnum. Protect yourself with help from the VP3 from Bullet Safe. There's also a 10% code right down below. Big thank you to the folks over at Bullet Safe. To you people, thank you for every thumbs up. Y'all are amazing. If you don't mind just crushing that link to Bullet Safe, that'd be really, really cool. Just jump over and check it out. That would help me a little bit. Just a click, one click, one click. You people went nuts in the comment section. It really was a lot of fun. And I heard from a lot of y'all. I want to say very clearly that a lot of the 15 that I picked here, a lot of y'all said that. So don't hit me. And well, I said that a lot of people said that. A lot of people. But if your name is like is is like unmentionable party guy 69. <laughs> I chose the other guy whose name was John because it was a little a little more family friendly. 15 ways to get home, no particular order. And I also want to say this, these are not just good advice things. Like one guy said, hey, change the filters in your house regularly. Well, yeah, that's good advice. This is not dad advice. This is about specifically being able to get home. So this is not dad advice. 15 ways, here we go. Number 15 comes in from Eric. He says a full box of ammo in the vehicle. Okay, all right, all right. I hope that full box of ammo fits your CCW. <laughs> the appropriate box of ammo. Number 14, Papa Mike says a first aid kit. A lot of y'all said that. A lot of y'all said a, a first aid kit. Really important. 13, Michael says, listen to your surrounding area. I like that. When I'm in a restaurant, I'm listening at the other tables, partly because I'm a big llama loving gossip. But the other part is good to know what's going on. And I remember one time I got back in the car and I said, did, y did you hear that fight that almost got lit off next to us? And they said, no, I didn't hear it. I did. Number 12, John says a lithium jump box. I've never owned a jump box, never have. I need one, need one, like that. Number 11, Wayne says, keep a knife on you. <laughs> got you, Wayne. One of y'all sent this to me. This is the honey badger. Keep it with me. Or, or a variation all the time. Knife on you. Keep a knife on you. Number 10, Mr. King says backup magazines. I, I carry two. I carry one in the CC and then I carry a spare. I've never owned a Neo Mag. I'm getting ready to order one of those next time I think about it. But yeah, backup mags, super important. Number nine, my own dad said this. Dad texted me and said carry cash all the time. I have a Hyundai in my wallet. I probably should have some lower bills too, so a hundred and a 20 maybe, but I like that. I like that. Number eight, Paul says that a lot of y'all said variations of this, but I was talking about a few things for our vehicles, like specifically gas, keeping gas in the vehicle. And Paul says, brakes, headlights, and wiper blades. That's not just dad advice. I like that, having good wiper blades in case there is a frog choker out there. Number seven, Matthew says, real shoes. I love this. I mentioned having winter boots in the car or something to be able to walk through terrible weather. A lot of folks said, hey, during flip-flop season, have a pair of real shoes. I wear Altamas almost year-round, so I can walk five, to five, five, eight, ten miles without a problem all the time. I never wear open-toed shoes, but folks that do, I'm fine with it. So you throw your pair of tennis shoes in the car. 
I like it. Number six, Don Lee 37 says, have a backup cell phone battery. I like that Don Lee 37, especially if you're gonna be traveling. Um, I had to go through the high desert to get to Thunder Ranch, wish I had a backup battery. Uh, a lot of folks said combinations of whatever it takes to spend one night in your vehicle. I like it, Don Lee 37. Number five comes in from Bald and Curious, my buddy Val. He's a YouTuber, y'all know Bald and Curious. Said keep toilet paper in the car. Toilet paper, not bad, not bad. Uh, I think I can see a lot of uses for that. I keep a big stack of napkins. Like when you go into Little Caesars, get you a stack of napkins, put them in the car. Number four, Joseph says extra car keys and extra house keys. I like that. With a lot of conversations about extra house keys, extra car keys. I like that. I like it. Number three, Francis says keep a lighter with you. I like that as well. A lighter. Have some way to start fire. And yeah. I was going to say something funny, but my humor, my humor is lacking. Number two, Dan says, fresh socks. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Rule one, socks, O.D. Green. I don't know. I just like it. That was kind of fun. That was kind of fun. All right, before we get to number one, and this is no particular order, but it is the number one on my list. A lot of folks last week were talking about, because I said to back your vehicle in wherever you go, and there was some really interesting conversation. There's no right answer that it's much better if you have to ram somebody to ram them with the rear end of your car. You don't have the radiator and all the, the go fast stuff in the back of the car. All true. If you, My personal feeling, if you have kids or dogs at the house, always back in at the house. When you leave tomorrow morning, you are, it's like 85%, I don't know, somewhere high number less likely to run over a child when you're pulling forward. Also, like when I'm out in the community, I always feel like the chances of me having to zippity-zappity and run somebody to the emergency room are higher than, oh my gosh, I'm going to pull forward in in case I have to ram someone out of the way. I just think that the zippy-zap to the emergency room may be a higher chance. I back in. I think it's the right move. There's no right or wrong. Guys love talking about this stuff. I think it's healthy to have these conversations. Number one reason, viewers submitted from you people on how to get home. Number one, George says, George says, carry a tourniquet. I like that a lot. In my, I've got it right here. I have a little go bag that I carry with me all the time. There happens to not be anything in it right now. This is from Grey Ghost Precision. I have a tourniquet in here somewhere. No, I don't. <laughs> I've got a knife in here. There's supposed to be a tourniquet in there. All right, Johnny, I'll show the knife. There's a good fixed blade in there. Uh, there's supposed to be, I guess I need to check my tourniquet. That was not planned. That's fantastic. I'm the one that's currently under underprepared. Going to work on it. Let me know what you think right down below. I'll see y'all here all week long. Love y'all, mean it. Bye.